back and see him running. And as he ran and got to the elevator, he slammed his body on it and looked at me like going down and like, I'm gonna kill your face. And, I, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm just What's up, guys? It is me, Jay Jai Lee, and I am here and I am back, and I have another amazing video. Now, this video will be a story time, um, and it will be a spicy story time, and it will actually be about a time that a guy did not know that I was trans a couple years ago, and friend at the time called me like i'm going through something right now and i want to come over so anytime that your best friend is going through something i know y'all about to turn up if you're a good friend because you would want to take that off a friend's shoulder so i'm like all right girl pull up called around seven got there around nine this other guy i was like talking to he had came and got us drove us around somehow we ended up in Dykeman because we were really hungry and that was the only thing that um that was the only place that had food places open at the time so we ended up at this place that i forgot the name of it but a place that has a buffet not a buffet but a cafe and a dance floor on the other side so it's a um, club and then it's a cafe now of course there's people in there and keep that in mind as i come in there me and this guy make eye contacts now this guy let's name him rafael now rafael he is like a mulatto looking guy he had tanner skin brown eyes and brown hair but like his hair and his eyes matched and it was like that brown that had a little hint of orange but it was a rich chocolatey brown he was very handsome i was just like okay me and him locked eyes again when we locked eyes mm, how fast we touched that's how <laughs> now seriously should i continue to walk over to check on the food or whatever because i was hungry and no shade that food looked at the disgusting so i'm just like oh no i'm not eating here so i'm like come on girl let's go get some food somewhere else so my friend and i are exiting the building and we get outside i can see out the corner of my eye Raphael is coming out there he like y'all not getting food here so I'm like, no, the food don't look good. He was like, well, I was hoping that y'all can sit at my table and I can get to know you. I'm just like, well, I don't want food here because the food don't look too good. But I want to get some food though. He had a car and everything. So we got in his car and drove to IHOP. Um, the car ride was not uncomfortable at playing his songs. Um, got to IHOP. Up and got sad. I have is not tea, and it was not tea at that time. But we were hungry. That was the only thing available. So we get in there, and um, my best friend is sitting on the side by herself, and me and Raphael is on the same seat. Mind you, y'all know it's given. He got his hand on my thigh. I'm giving him the looks like. Cause I'm feeling mad cute, like you touching my thigh, like talking, like he was very masculine too, like very like masculine. But the thing was, and it's not a bad thing, he was a little bit shorter than me and I had on heels. But I was just like, okay, like he was cute though, like a very, very attractive. So all of us are talking, they having talks about like spirituality and like life. So I'm just feeling it. So after the breakfast and everything else, um, we had called a cab to go home because I didn't want him to take me to my house because he didn't know I'm trans and I didn't want him to know I stay. So called a cab and as we're catching the cab, me and him exchanged numbers and he kissed me on my lips and I proceeded to kiss him back. And my friend is like, girl, don't do that. Like right then and there, like, no, no. Like mad calm about it, but like, no, stop it. And I instantly knew what she was saying, like by the tone of her voice, 
and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to say. And that's the thing too. Like a lot of times, I'm not saying I be forgetting I'm trans, but it's like life is spinning so quick sometimes that I just kind of be like, in the moment, I'm there just like kissing them. Like, mm. And she like, stop. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that quickly. So I felt so bad because I'm like, yo, I'm playing with, with fire, kissing on somebody, and he don't know I'm trans. All right. So as I get in the cab, I'm texting him. He's like, I'm feeling you. Like, let's go get some food tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, bad. I'm down. Next day came. I'm getting on cue because the date was the exact next day. So I'm at my house mind you my best friend is there i'm getting cute she's helping me get dressed picking out a fly outfit she doing my hands on my makeup songs is playing it was the vibe i'm about to go on a full-blown date with this guy that is not okay but i'm just still proceeding to go i get in the cab i get there and as i get there i'm there 15 minutes before him so um, I get a table, I get a booth, I get a half booth, half table. And I'm inside the booth side and the table side is open for him. So I'm sitting here, chilling and everything else. He comes in, I didn't even see him come in, but he comes in. He's like, is that your real hair? So I'm like, what? That's quite a question, isn't it? But no, it's not. And I had a lace front closure at that time and no shade that way did kind of like make me look clocky because i guess at the time since there was no people didn't know how to truly do it so i'm just like Ugh. okay so i'm pretty sure like he knew at that moment but i was just like okay hey how are you having general conversation but the whole time that i'm having conversation i pick up on him and like the side eye like trying to see like so i'm just like okay he knows something like i can tell that, that he knows something talking 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 he looks very very curious the whole time but i'm just still there talking playing everything cool he's like after this let's go to my house so i'm like okay so his house was two blocks down and we walked there oh so, um we get to his building and I remember getting inside of his apartment and his apartment gave that creaky like nursing home light. Get inside of his apartment, get inside of his room. I started to get comfortable because he was like, get comfortable, I'm gonna be right back. So um, he left out of his room, so I'm comfortable. I got my shoes off, I got my purse down, got my coat off, cause it was cold around these months. So I'm just like, getting comfy so i hear him go out the room go inside of the kitchen and I, I don't know what he got out of that kitchen i started to hear cabinets closing so i'm like hmm? then after i heard cabinets closing i started to hear shuffling through like silverware so i'm like hold on what if he's like trying to find a knife or something so i just instantly kind of like Got, got alarmed and I started to put my things on and I started to exit his apartment. So he's like, where are you going? But as he said that, the voice was different than the voice that he was using the whole time. So I'm like, oh, he tapped into a different energy and it sounded as if I was in danger. I look back and I could have sworn I seen a sharp object in his hand. And I'm just like, oh, nah, I have to go. So I proceeded to like unlock his door frantically to get out of his apartment. So I'm running, running, running. And he, the hallway was long. So I was some steps ahead of him, like by a long shot. But I'm running, running, running. I ran to the elevator. And a lot of times the elevator is like, um, attached to a big door and sometimes that door lock would let you like get inside of the elevator so i get inside of the elevator closed and locked it but them closing it i can see him running and as he ran and got to the 
elevator, he slammed his body on it and looked at me like going down and like, I'm going to kill your face. And, I, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I was so freaking scared. I'm like, this guy could have killed me. This guy could have literally ended me in that room and nobody would have ever known it. Like I was really, really destroyed at myself. Like, girl, you cannot be out here more like that. Like, are you crazy? And it really started to really pound me. Like once I like ran out of his elevator, ran out of his building, I ran two blocks down, held a cab, got in the cab, and I just started to like bawl out crying. Like I really could have been dead. I get back to my house crying, my best friend thinking that I got like beat up or something. And I'm just like, no girl, like this man was about to kill me. Now mind you, granted, I don't know if he was really going to do that, but since I knew that I was in the wrong for that and I knew the consequences that it come with, I'm thinking like, no, this guy's going to do something. So do y'all think that he was going to kill me or do y'all think that like he was about to like cook or something? And I don't know because I don't know, but I truly thought that and I did think he knew. Do y'all think he knew? Do y'all think he knew the whole time but wanted me to tell him? Do y'all think he knew the whole time and was okay with it and didn't want me to leave because he wanted to spend time with me? Or do y'all think that he really knew and he was about to retaliate for me not telling him? Love you so much, guys. Each one, teach one. Bye.